Hello and welcome guys. My name is Soyash and it's very very good to be back after a long Hero ISL season. Of course, after the season ended, we had the RFDL also take place for which Bengaluru FC were crowned the champions and today I'm going to be joined by a man who wears many many hats. His name is Noshad Musa and the capacity in which he's going to be speaking with me today is in the capacity of the head coach of the BSC reserve team that ended as champions of the RFDL. So without further ado, Musa bhai, congratulations on winning the RFDL. How are you doing today? Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. How about you? I'm perfectly fine, and I'm I'm not uh, sure there's many people who would be in a better mood than you these days in Indian football because uh, uh, because your boys really really performed outstandingly well. Uh, the tournament you went unbeaten uh, throughout the tournament, of course, except for that last draw that you had against Kerala Blasters FC in your last game, and uh, you ended the season as champions. So um, to start off with Musa, I wanted to ask you before the league started what was the primary objective that bfc had as a team going into the reliance foundation development league before it started yeah uh, see after the isl i was given the team uh, for this uh, rf development league uh, so straight away my i was straight on point with the boys that we are not going for vacation out there uh, we are going there and we have to be the champion that's it because uh, it's it's very important for them to understand uh, they are they are the players who are looking for opportunities to get into the senior team and when you're getting into the senior team you need to have that winning mentality and you need to understand the kind of pressure which goes in in the senior team so i was just trying to do that uh, from day one to give that needed pressure for them to understand how to deal with those pressures. whether we are training or we are preparing for a game so it was very important for them to understand how we approach in the training and how we approach for the game right so what i'm very curious to know about you is that what your approach and relationship with the players is like because they're all young players at the end of the day you've also been uh, in fact you are assistant coach of the senior team as well uh, so you have the experience of dealing with experienced pros as well as young kids so what are the tweaks that you make in your individual approach uh, between the senior team and uh, and the reserve team see uh, the approach uh, i have with the reserve team boys and the senior team boys you know, when when they make it to the senior team my, my approach towards them is totally uh, totally different uh, and when i am with them with the uh, reserve squad uh, i am bit uh, aggressive out there yeah uh because uh, you you uh, because i always ask this reserve team boys to uh, take some ideas from like players like uh, say parag uh, butia roshan gamay who's come in now shiv shakti okay. because when you get into a senior team it's totally different the pressure is not only about the game the pressure is all about how the foreigners are dealing because when they are there they want to win every game the coach is there you know they want to win every game so the pressure is totally different and this is the place where i make them understand how how important it is to handle the pressure so my approach towards the reserve team is totally different because i see that i give them that added pressure so when they get into the senior team it becomes easy for them so that's that's how i deal with them okay and that really helps them that really helps them when they get into this meeting because they know i have already guided them what the, what are they going to face when they get to this meeting and yeah. uh, players like uh, damai they not they, they i i talk to them and i tell them please uh, guide this player because for sure they find me rude they find me aggressive you know they get scared at time of course uh, but after the training session is over i am with them i talk to them why i am like that why i want you to deal with the pressure it's very important for you to understand all that so i to balance everything right right no and you're doing a very good job of it of course as we can all see let's speak a bit about the rfl itself musa bhai now from a coach's point of view what was your overall experience of participating in the rftl from say an infrastructural point of view and and professionalism point of view how was the league conducted for you uh it was it was really uh 
it was organized uh, really well it was very professional and then the timings were maintained properly uh, the buses everything the transport everything was really really professional when you speak about water all small details were taken care of ice so we had no complaints about it i'm sure most of the teams they experienced that you know and even the boys they get they get the idea how how well it was organized and how we have to behave in a professional way right right so overall overall it was it was a great experience for the boys especially for the boys you know it was really nice and it's, and i'm glad to know that they made the most out of it as well uh so you've already established that before the league started you had set one objective to them to be champions at the end of it but how many times was the premier league next gen cup mentioned by the players themselves was that also at the at the end of the day something that you really really wanted to be a part of how much of a motivation was the next gen cup for you and for the players as well of course of course the next gen uh, cup was important uh, but uh, as i keep telling them you know we go match by match so uh of course like when we when we won the first two games that's when i started talking about the next gen cup that's when i started reminding them now this is our target being the champion or coming in first two and then this is our when we when we are in first two next gen is there for us so somewhere the boys were motivated uh, when they heard about traveling to uk playing against uh, good opponents you know so that was an added uh, uh uh thing for them to perform well yeah and and most of all according to you how important is it that your players and in general players of the same age bracket in indian football have that experience of going and playing against say superior opposition to to gain that experience how important is is it for the overall development of indian football yeah it will it will make a lot of difference uh, when it because we had we have, we have few players who have played for the under 16 national team and under 19 national team uh, but playing against clubs big clubs in uk it will make a lot of difference uh, first of all we don't know who which team we are going to play so that is that is still not clear so for sure for sure whatever level we get for matches we will get i'm sure it's going to be high level and that would really help these boys who are making it the uh, uh, senior team because you are you are going to play against foreigners like players like damai shiv shakti and all uh, young youngsters who are who are there in the senior team but they didn't get enough time but when they play against such tough opponents i'm sure uh, that will really boost their confidence they will really understand uh, what level we are looking at what level we are in and how much more we need to work to reach that level yeah so so reliance i'm sure it's doing a, they are doing a great job by giving us this opportunity so i'm sure by next season because if you see this season that match is really good uh, the opponents were tough i'm sure next year it will get much better i'm sure the teams will get uh, more prepared for this tournament they can see the importance so for sure the level of football will grow right right so it it's clear that player development and youth development is at the center of this entire uh, you know endeavor that's been undertaken but for you on a personal level musa bhai did you feel that as an indian coach you also had something at stake and you wanted to prove yourself uh, in your own journey as as a coach of course of course it it becomes very important uh, for us to deliver because if you see most of the uh, coaches who are there uh, are foreigners and we are uh, we are uh, seen as the assistant coaches out there so uh, with 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 our experience what what we can deliver at this this level you know it becomes very important for us to have uh, i mean to uh, show how we can make a team play and that that really uh, and i i proved myself it's, it's not that uh, i am the best coach or something but yes we have every day we learn a lot uh, and then of course uh, 
you can see the level of football which was there uh, all the indian coaches they were doing a really great job because hyderabad was good uh, chennai was doing a great job kerala of course they were having six isl players and they were they were a tough competitor so yes we learnt a lot how to handle all that as a coach also okay so now let's speak a little bit about something which i know will be of direct interest to you the style of play that your team exhibited during the rftl i want to ask you how wedded is it to the style of play that the first team has for example and and what is bfc's overall approach to youth development is there an effort to play the same way across all age categories i'm sure bfc fans uh, would already sort of be in on the know about this but for the uninitiated for people who um, possibly don't follow bfc and of uh, of other teams as well fans of other teams what is bfc's approach to youth development see uh, we have a philosophy uh, there uh, we have set up everything so we have we have teams from under 8 to under 10 under 12 and to reserve team so if you see our under 8 playing is the same way how we want our senior team to play okay you know we all follow the same pattern because uh, since uh, since last year i was the head of it so we 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 made the philosophy and we 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 been discussing with the coaches how we want the players to follow a pattern so all the teams are following the same same way of playing so of course they have been doing well they have been doing well and the winning mentality it, it's uh, when we say you know in youth we don't worry about winning but it is important but we don't uh, pressurize them we see that you know they play good football they enjoy playing and then the results are coming and you can see we are getting those results so the way every team is playing uh, only the last season we had marco and the approach was different right but with the youth system with the youth system we were following the same pattern we we didn't change that right it's it's so important that you mentioned that there is a uh... a certain importance given to the results also even though that's not the be all and end all at at this level uh and you also mentioned pressure at the start of our interview and interaction where you said that you know the players were under pressure at certain points of time in fact in the game against jamshedpur fc i think you went down uh, for the first time in the entire league you did not concede first uh, before that game but then your boys bounced back and reacted and won that game 5-2 as well Uh, so just a word on yeah. that how do you think they reacted to the pressure and at this level uh, it can only be a good thing right because as senior pros they're going to experience pressure in, in a lot of environments as well uh, so how important is it to to get that right now at this stage itself okay uh, the match against jamshedpur uh, a day before uh, i was uh, working on the analysis the way our team is playing and i showed them exactly what jamshedpur did till they scored in 15 minutes the way they played i had showed them exactly what what areas they will uh, uh, try to dominate us and jamshedpur did exactly that we were we didn't uh, we didn't really uh, they didn't take my words maybe <laughs> so <laughs> not for the first uh, first half for the first 15 20 minutes uh, 15, we, we were struggling so it it was like i had to i had to tell my midfielders to cover up those spaces and when we did that jamshedpur uh, was struggling you know so this is where the players have to understand decision making how how you have to read your opponents how they are playing because that's how it is because you can't wait till the 45 minute and then the coach in the dressing room gives you the idea but you as a player you have to learn the opposition how they are playing how they are attacking us you know what all areas they are dominating so those are the learning learning things what we can uh, how we can educate this player yeah so once that was that was done and we started getting goals and then their defense were uh, under pressure they were struggling so we had to push them up and we got the results it was the same with uh, the duran cup we were down three goals and then we were coming back so this is where this players have to learn every day every day they have to learn how to how to improve themselves how to manage the pressure 
because uh, I always tell them, uh, no matter we go, we can say maybe two goals, three goals, no problem. When we come out, our head should be high, thinking that we gave our best. Goals will come. When you are giving your best, you will get the result. That's for sure. And and give it the best they did because they ended up scoring 19 goals across seven matches and you only conceded four goals in the entire league. Yeah. Uh, so I'm sure you're very very happy as a coach, Musa. Right? What were the areas in which you feel the team can further improve as well? See the way we want to play, like uh, more attacking football. Uh, so when you are attacking, when you when you have that attacking mentality, you know how to keep the ball. It's very important. Uh, football is all about. having the ball when you don't have the ball you're just chasing so uh in this tournament in the first two games we were struggling to keep the ball so when we talk about our fitness you know, is very important uh we have kind of players who are competitive so it's all about it's all about having the ball football is all about having the ball that's what i believe and then we attack attack only at so so being better at ball retention would that be fair to to maybe add that as a point where you can even get better at this uh, age group ball retention yeah yeah you can say that <laughs> all right speaking about the the performances of your players in the tournament uh, beke oram golden ball uh, excellent performances throughout the league uh, you also had uh, rahul raju golden boot uh, so can we expect more players to be promoted from From the reserve team to the first team ahead of the coming Hero Isle season as well. I know you don't want to take names because you you typically as a coach say that everyone played well. But can you highlight <laughs> the performances of the yeah. players who you were you know extremely pleased with? Yeah, uh, see, like players like Damai, Shishakti, Shishakti uh, didn't get enough opportunity because he had a knock on his knee, and so I had to protect him because uh, the coming season I don't want. To. Really spoil his future. Of course, the team result is needed, but I cannot uh, be so uh, selfish and spoil a player's career. So I had to keep him out. And towards the end, I I gave him an opportunity, but I could still feel he was struggling. So luckily, nothing serious happened to him, and he has time now to recover and get back to the senior team. And then players like uh, Hoy. BK uh, Amai Amai who just come back from surgery so this seven Murajka, games was really yeah. important Morajka it was very important for him to get back his confidence because after an injury it takes time for a player to so I'm sure this seven games was like very good for him to get back his confidence because I had to talk to him every day because I could see he was getting scared yeah. and then. when you are talking about players getting into this new team you know uh, it all depends on the coach who he feels the head coach who he feels was uh, good enough so it's not in my hand but there are few players who can can because what we do is every year what we do is uh, we take uh, seven to eight players to 10 players to train with the new team yeah. so that's when the coach gets the opportunity to see the players and then that's his call what he feels so what i do is i give him the names these are the players who you can have a look at. so the final call is all his yeah yeah so because uh, because he has to he has to understand the level of the league and then accordingly he can plan yeah. what kind of player he wants because i am looking at a different way the head coach is looking at a different way so so it takes time because when carlos roca all were there so i worked with them for four years so our our equation was very good we know what kind of player we both want in reserve team and in senior team so that way we were aligned well and then i i i would work with how the under 15 player should be how the under 18 player should be how the reserve team player should be so that was aligned really nice So now, Excellent. yes, of course, we are we are in track, and then again, uh, <laughs> I don't want to say as, as you said, all players are good, or no, anything like that. Yeah, but we have few few players who work like uh, uh, Bikhe or Ram, Toy, yeah. uh, Dipesh, Dipesh, the goalkeeper. He did really well. 
so these are few players who can make a mark because we uh, when when a coach is there he cannot have a squad of 30 35 players it becomes difficult uh, to give them those uh, training time and even playing time so it depends on the coach what what uh, squad strength he needs yeah so it all depends on that if he says he wants 30 players then yes more players from the reserve team Okay. That's Excellent. how it is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for shedding light on that, Musa Bai. And before I let you go, my last question to you is that we've spoken about the Premier League Next Gen Cup. Uh, in an ideal world, of course, any coach would want that their team retains their identity and style of play, regardless of who the opposition is, right? Uh, so when the Next Gen Cup actually takes place, and when your team goes there, and when when you're with those boys. how are you going to approach that tournament because that's going to be a step up in terms of level altogether right yeah so how how do you see how do you see your philosophy going into that tournament now again it all depends as i as i said before i really don't know which opponent i'm going to play yeah. so i really uh, yes of course i need to stick to my philosophy i don't want to change anything Yeah. Uh, how how important is how that? I'll, I'll like I, sorry to cut you in, but what I want to ask you mentioned that um, you don't want to change that philosophy. But at that level, then it becomes uh, a decision between okay, how important is the result and how important is the style of play? Because a win in a tournament like that would be would be unprecedented, right? Uh, so how do you make that balance between the two about being playing result oriented football and sticking to a plan? Again, again, uh, when you say that. It- Uh, then I'm I'm compromising on my uh, the way I want to play, you know. And then I bring in fear in my boys. I say the opponent is good, we need to defend. Then I'm putting something negative in my players. I want them to be brave enough to go out there, you know, and play the way they want to. Play. That that will be very important for them because I really don't want them to be. I want my players to be brave all the time. so it becomes very important as, as as i said i don't know my opinion then it it depends the way we start the game the way we start the game we see our opponent maybe maybe we play in few changes maybe in formation you know how how well we can uh, approach the game so as i said i want my players to just go out there and enjoy the sport. that would be very important because this is something uh, this experience i'm sure it won't be they won't be getting it again i don't know yeah, because uh, this is something they should they should go there and play with a free mind not that you know uh, we'll be getting uh, that also i don't know how many games i'm going to play right so whatever game whatever game we get it's very important that they just go there and give their best result result we can think about that's that should not be a problem Yeah, well, for the sake of Indian football, Musa Bai, we hope that's the case. Spoken like a true coach at the end of it. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on this conversation today, and once again, congratulations on being crowned the champions of the inaugural Reliance Foundation Development League. And all the best for the next Gen Cup as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Musa. Bai.